All right, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take one of the squid and break it up a little bit, get some scent going in the water, attract some fish and some various creatures. And uh, my first customer of the day was this baby mora eel that smelled it. And this just might be the smallest mora eel I've ever filmed uh, so far. That guy is tiny. I filmed a lot of big mora eels, but if you think about that squid, Look at him ferociously tearing a piece off. Those fish in the back are a little intimidated. If you think about that squid being about six inches long and the eel's about double in length, that's about a 12 inch eel. But despite his tiny size, he is ferocious, gorging himself, getting as much as he wants. Imagine, you know, like, if you're six foot tall, imagine, like, finding a three foot wide burger or a whole bunch of burgers, you know, all on a on a stick. That's kind of what it was like for him. And then these Trevally come over right away. Let's see that again. Look, it grabs a squid head and tears it off. But then I thought it was interesting that the other one just followed around the other Trevally and didn't grab a piece off itself. Like, it just wanted the other Trevally squid head. And this was crazy because they didn't start gorging themselves on it like I thought they would. In fact, they're just kind of playing around with it. And they've got a lot to eat there. And normally, like you think that most fish are kind of opportunistic feeders. You see as the squid block breaks apart there, they'd be feasting. I thought, you know, I'm going to try breaking it up a little bit. I did hang around pretty close uh, on this one, at least at first, just to see what would happen. Um, and when I did that, that got them all excited. They liked all the pieces drifting around the water. And they ate a few, but mostly they're just playing with their food. wonder what their mothers would think of this. Hopefully their mothers don't see this. Because they're just playing with their... Look, they're hardly eating anything. They, they could easily, like, snap up all of those little pieces drifting around. They just kind of... Kind of like playing with it. They just suck it up and then spit it back out again. And the third one joins them the school gets gradually larger and then i swim off you see me in the back there because uh there wasn't a whole lot going on but as soon as i swam off a big old turtle sniffs it out and you see a unicorn fish even pass in front of the screen right there i thought that was kind of cool i love unicorn fish but he was not interested in the squid but this turtle now the turtle I love how he blinks underwater. Why does he blink underwater? Like, his eyes are already wet. I thought that was cool, though. But the turtle is like, hmm. Takes a little kind of half bite there, a little test bite. And then grabs a few tentacles off right there. Kind of nibbles around the edges. And I think he's convinced this is something good to eat. He's not used to having squid, I'm guessing. But, uh, he likes it. I doubt many squid die in the open ocean and drift to the bottom where he can get it. Probably gets torn apart by fish. And he loves it. He's, he's gonna, he's gonna eat all the pieces if he can. Isn't this exactly like how you think a turtle would eat? Look, grabs that piece there. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. I had another camera set up, but the camera actually got kind of messed up in the waves and it didn't get much action. But you see him right here. Now he's eating whole pieces. Just horking it down. He's developed a taste for the squid, folks. And I love how he carefully pulls them off one at a time and then takes his flipper and uses it <laughs> to pull it off the wires. He knows exactly what's edible and what's not. This is exactly how I imagined a turtle would, would eat. Like slowly, methodically. And now the fish are getting mad. They're like, dude, are you going to eat all this? He's like, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is so cool to watch. It's like, last piece, all mine. And the fish are getting miffed. The fish are like, bro, you eat, seriously, you're going to eat all the squid? And now he's, he's just at one piece at a time. Like, it's just, it's going down. And then this was hilarious. Watch this. So the turtle's eating this piece, uh, and the fish tears it away. Let's see that again. The fish are mad that the turtle's eating everything. It's like, give me that. Tears it out of his mouth. The turtle's like, what, what happened? 
I thought this was hilarious. I think the turtle pretty much ate the entire block of squid. This is probably one of the best meals he's had in a while. Um, I'm used to just seeing him eat little bits of grass off the rocks. And I came back and I was like, what happened? I did take a piece of squid with me just in case I saw a creature, something I wanted to put in front of it. So I thought I'd attach it to the wire and see what happens. And uh, the Trevally came over, but all they could eat was the head before the turtle turned around and came back. It's like, yeah, no, this, this piece is mine too. He loves squid. I think he's going to come back to this spot. Look, the last little piece there, he's like, oh, missed that. I think he's going to come back to this spot for the next few days and uh, keep checking to see if there's uh, any more mysterious food piles show up. But this was a super cool experiment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll definitely have to do this again with other foods. If you guys have other ideas, please leave them in the comment section below. Then check the link in the description if you want to see a, a playlist of all these types of videos. I keep adding to it. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you in the next one.